Good morning, my name is Sandy Croft, welcome to Sandy's Art Studio and today we're going to be painting a very simple landscape um, it's just a made up landscape, it's not a real one I'm just using three colours, uh, Kaput Mortuum Violet, Cadmium Red Deep and uh, Gamboge Yellow Yeah. Okay, uh, you'll also need some cling film You'll need a penny or, or similar, wrapped up in a little bit of tissue. I've, I can show you that here, which is going to be our sun. We're going to stencil out the sun. That's going to be wrapped up like this. And we're going to stamp into the painting like this. Okay, let's get started. It's a very quick, easy painting, great for beginners. I'm going to start by wetting the paper. I'm only going to dampen the paper. I'm not going to have it soaking wet. And I'll wet that down to about three quarters of the way down. I'm using um, a cat tongue brush. That will do nicely. I'm going to do this very very quickly so it's about three quarters of the way down I want a quarter of the way up to be land and then we're going to be doing some mountains to about halfway up so the top half just done more a little bit more than half is going to be the sky and that's going to be done with our red cadmium red sweeping side to side across the sky lovely rich color get lots of lovely rich color and i'm going to wash off my brush in clean water i'm going to pick up my gamboge yellow and come in from the bottom of the red and sweep that across the sky as well down to around about here Sweep it back up into the red. I'm going to wash that out into the water so that it's got a nice even tone coming through the red and the yellow. So I'm going to quickly pick up my little bit of tissue with the coin inside. And I'm going to judge that the sun is going to be more or less, let's put it over here. So I'm just pushing that into the colour while it's wet. Lifting it out and you've got your sun. Now I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush, I've got a size 6 round. I'm just going to wash that and damp it off on my towel. And then I'm going to, while it's still wet, I'm going to sweep the colour across to suggest cloud coming over the sun. And that just knocks it back a little bit. And it also gives you this nice sun, sunburst coming through clouds here. Um, if you want to, we can also lift off a little bit of colour as if the sun is bursting through here. So I'm just wiping it on my towel, this is the clean brush, I'm just pulling it through the colour and that's going to pull off some sun rays for you. If you want to, or you can leave it without that, that's okay. Now that's got to be left to dry. So my painting is now dry. Um, I'm going to take my red again, but this time I'm not going to wet the paper. Uh, we're going to be painting the mountains now, so I'm going to start on the, this side with the red and I'm coming in with quite strong colour to suggest some mountains. This is going to be covered with cling film in a moment, so we want the colour to be quite strong, otherwise the effect won't show when you put the cling film on. So there's the red, I'm washing off my brush. I'm picking up some gamboge yellow again and I'm going to come in from the red and bring some gamboge yellow down 
and then sweep the colour up the other side. I've got some, some nasty bits in there, but never mind. Okay, into the red again for the other side. colour quite strong while it's still wet you can still keep adding colour just makes it a little bit more yellow up you can have some nice orange orange hills just play with the colours it's fun to play with colour Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to now cover that with cling film while it's wet. So I've got my cling film ready. I'm going to cover the cover this piece of the painting with the cling film and scrunch it up so that I get cells forming in the colour. Now we've got to leave this to dry before we can remove it, otherwise you won't get the, 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 the effect of the cells. So just scrunch it until you're happy. And that's it, I'm going to leave that to dry and I'll be back in a second. So now that's dry, I've taken off the cling film and I'm going to do exactly the same thing using the same colours except this time I'm going to do a diagonal coming across from the left to just after the centre in just a streak of a line. So, so I'm going to bring in some red. Wash my brush off. Pick up some yellow, working very quickly again. Across here, we can bring it down here a little bit because this is all going to be brown down here anyway. A bit more red, let's get plenty of colour in here. I've got a hair there, but never mind, I can sweep that away. Uh, yeah, okay, a little bit darker again than the previous layer. Uh, I'm going to co cover that again with cling film and leave that to dry and join me in a moment when this is dry and we'll finish off with the browns. I've mixed kaput mortuum violet with a little bit of ultramarine. If you don't have kaput uh, violet you can use burnt umber or Van Dyke brown, um, but add a little bit of ultramarine to it because it warms the colour. Now we're going to apply the background hills, um, well, kind of the foreground hills really. So I want one hill coming down from here, so let's just suggest that I know where that's going to be now. So I'm going to have another hill coming across here. And we've got that really strong contrast now between the hills. I'll make that one a little less severe. I'm just going to block in this colour very quickly. Now from this, I want a little bit of texture. Um, I'm going to another line of colour there just to give it a little bit more oomph. Okay so you can either do this with, with a small round which I'll show you now just to pull out some colour some tree trunks. I might have to get a little bit more colour on my brush and they're just little trees in the background just a few little suggestions.
And then to do the canopy, I'm going to use a fan brush, or you can use the same brush and do this. You can just stipple to suggest the foliage, or you can use a fan brush. So I've got this little, it's a little Terry Harrison brush. It's a special effects brush actually, so, so it's quite good for doing this. You could also use a little bit of sponge if you've got a little bit of natural sponge. That works just as well. But it's only, only just to give a, a little bit of a suggestion in the background there of trees. It's a good little brush this, you can do all sorts of effects with it. It's good for doing grasses, stuff like that. Um, we can also bring up a few little grasses, make that a little bit softer in the background there. While the wash is still wet, we can put a little bit of texture into the land at the back here and also to the land in the front here, which is going to be a little bit closer to the viewer. So we're going to have some, some grasses coming up here. It all just adds a little bit of texture. Well, what do you know? My computer crashed while I was doing this last part of the video. So I'm just going to record this again. Um, we're nearly finished. We, we've done the background hills here. Um, and I've painted in this tree, so I've used a large brush for this. I'll just go over this again so you can see what I did. So I came down here with the trunk of the tree I brought the trunk of the tree right the way up. And then I put in these little branches here with the same brush, just the, top, the tip of these branches. And then I switched to a smaller brush, so I've got a size six here with a finer point. And I've just come across here and touched in some more branches using the point of the brush like this. And you can make as many branches as you want to. Just have fun with it. And then the leaves, I've used the same brush and I've just done little ticks like this with the point of the brush, just pushing into the paper and lifting off. And I've varied the colour. I've added a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red. So I've got a few red leaves, a few yellow leaves. Let's just put a few more red ones in just to show you quickly. A few more yellow ones. You can go as mad as you want to. <laughs> Um, and the last thing that I did was to put a little bit more of the grasses in the foreground here. So I just picked out some grasses with my little fan brush again down here. Just give it a little bit of texture in the foreground. And that's it.